Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess Gex doing yet another random PS2 game. There's so many of. Oh, hang on. I've just remembered I've forgotten something. Two seconds. Well, that was a good start, wasn't it? Anyway, we're back. So we're doing a PS2 uh, game, Frank Herbert's Dune, which I'm sort of familiar with in terms of I, I've seen Dune a few times in the film. I've never played this, of course. Always away. Never tend to have already played these. Um, obviously, set on Arrakis, Sandworm, Spice, all the, all that kind of goodness. But uh, this could be really complicated. Because I've played a few board games and card games based on Dune, and they're always very complicated. Oh, I might, I might do a quick training mode off camera just to get the hang of the buttons. So bear with. Okay, there we go. So I've just finished the training thing. It's actually quite good. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't sure if it was some kind of weird, I don't know, like narrative kind of game, but it's not. It is. I will say it is a blue disc game. So it's one of those because I'm playing this on the PS3. It's a PS2 game being played on the PS3, and it's uh, it's a blue disc game, so it's an old one. Now I did have a hard crash where everything just froze and I had to reset, unfortunately, in the middle of the training mode. So it may well crash again. We may not get very far with this. Who knows? But we'll give it. We'll give it a go. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Please enter a name. I don't know. Oh. Oh, wrong way. Hang on. Where are we going? Uh, yep, and. Do I have to. Hang on. I'm assuming I don't actually have to. Uh... How do I. Can I. Can I just. Can I just done? I'm done! Hang on! How do I. How do I move? Gexy? No, not quite. How do I. Oh, you turd. I just. Just. Oh, for God's sake. Does it have to actually go all the way to the end of the line? Oh, it does. Okay. We're beep, 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 beep. There we go. I just... That's, that seems so stupid that we actually have to fill up the entire box with, with letters. But anyway, or characters, I should say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're going to jump in. We are... Looks like we are Paul Atreides, I think. Um, again, you probably know the story of you Before better you than I do. appreciate the inevitable unfold it's really loud. Events, one must begin by placing the events in time. The year is 10,191. 57th year of Emperor Shaddam IV's rule. To be precise, the Day of Peril. Location. We are on Arrakis, otherwise known as Dune, the planet of sand. This is the only known source in the entire universe of the essential spice. Now for the main protagonists. First, Duke Leto Atreides, planetary governor of Dune. He has just been double-crossed by the Emperor and slain by the evil Baron Harkonnen. His immediate family have either been killed, arrested, or have escaped. His wife Jessica and his young son Paul, henceforth Duke, have fled into the desert. I just basically want to see a sandworm, essentially. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I have seen the film, I say, a couple of times. Sting is acting best. Um... It's so, you know, it's, it's obviously it's, it's a you know it's a very popular point, IP, but it is best to call him Paul Atreides. The unknowing would say that his was a desperate plight, but the man who will become known as Muad'Dib has already begun to shape his fate. His mission is to round up the Fremen, a people tucked away in the desert who stand up to the Harkonnen. Through them, Paul will regain his kingdom and avenge his family. The Fremen, definitely not the Freeman. I don't know if we're supposed to be hearing dialogue. Oh, it's loading something. Mother, don't untie your distiller. It will recycle your body's own water much more effectively. It's all we have. That's I vile, isn't Fremen it? Imagine that. You're drinking, like, recycled... Can you smell something strange? ...body fluid. Uh, that's one of the sandworms. It's close by. If we step on the sand, it will detect us. <gasps> I'm going to look for the thump. I'm definitely going to be stepping the on the sand. Scent. He's going to go look for water. I like the way they call Fremen, as I say, definitely not free men. But anyway, so we're not allowed to step on the sand, else we get a sandworm in the face. The worm of the sands. Risking a confrontation with Shai Hulud. The worm of the sands. Lady Jessica, free the Harkonnen. Yes, because of course in the film, they the, what's his name, the, the evil Baron. Oh, we're on the sand. Hang on a minute. Mother, I'm going to find the thumper. Wait here. Uh-oh. He said not to step on the sand. Where am I going? There's no objective. Uh oh. I don't know what's flashing. I mean, this doesn't look good, does it? Yeah, I don't think we. I don't think we go down there. Um. 
He did definitely say not to step on the sand, didn't he? I'm feeling like I'm feeling like this is a bit tricky to to do without stepping on the sand. Oh, there's a pole thing. What does that do? Yeah, I picked up a thumper. Nice. It's like a rabbit from Bambi, is it? I can't remember. Jemsy would know that. I can't remember. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. That's like Tomb Raider sand where you start wading into it. I see footsteps going over there, though. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not footsteps. So is this supposed to be rock and then sand's over there? Where do I get over there? No, this doesn't look good at all. Or do I do I just wade over there? I don't know what I'm doing. Mother, what do I do? Why is that thing flashing in the corner? It's quite off as well. I can't get around there, can I? No. Nope. I think we're going to have to try and wade through it. Best case scenario, we, we get out on the other side. Worst case scenario, we see a sandworm. I'm trying to get through to this. Oh no, maybe we... I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, he's literally... He's just not moving any further. Oh, hang on. Yes, he is, I think. No, it's literally not letting me go any further over there. Okay, I'll, tr I'll try going back. Damn it. Do I have a list of objectives? Oh, hang on. Collect the thumper. Reaching... I've done collecting the thumper. How do I reach the... them lot? And I can't go round, can I? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to make me... Yeah, it's going to start making me sink, in, sink under there. I don't like the fact... Oh, look at that. Giant moon. I thought I heard a weird noise there, sorry. Um, I don't like the fact the camera's inverted, and there doesn't appear to be any other way of changing it back. Oh! Oh, for God's sake, I just had to go back to her, that was it. God damn it! Does that distract the sandworms? Time is against us. We must hurry. I'll follow you. Oh, we just go pelting off through we the caves. We must get to the Fremen site. Time is running out. Alright. Do I literally just run across the desert? This doesn't look... Oh, hang on. Do I have to try and find... Oh. She's not following me. She's just standing there as though she's saying it's supposed to be this way. I wonder if we are supposed to then... I'll see if I can get out on the other side of this. Is he going to start climbing out again? Yes, he is. There we go. So we are supposed to do that. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh oh, here we go. Mother, Tremors. Your steps are too even. You'll give us away. Try to avoid the areas of dark spice. They slow you down. I don't like this place. What's wrong with her eyes? Okay. Try to avoid the dark spots. And that was obviously a massive hint for me as well. Uh oh. See, I do want to survive this, but we all, I also want to see a sandworm. So, kind of torn a little bit here. Nice. I have no weapons, I don't think, as well, so if we get... Uh-oh. Ambushed. Look at that! Uh-oh. Sandworm, sandworm. As long as we can hear the thumper. Come on, quick! What? What, am I just running into the cave? Or what? I don't know what I'm doing! No idea! Okay, through here, I'm guessing. Of course, I don't think you could fight a sandworm, even if we had a gun, which which we don't anyway. Oh! Oh! The Great Erg. Paul and his mother, Lady Jessica, flee the Harkonnen. Lost in the sands, they try to rally the Fremen, the desert's mysterious inhabitants. Having located the remains of an old Fremen uh, siege, siege, Paul decides to take a closer look by crossing the desert surface, risking a confrontation. Yes. Uh -oh. <gasps> look at this! I'm not pressing any buttons here, by the way. Holy smokes! What am I supposed to be doing? Am I just supposed to keep running? Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Come on, Bennett. This is a bit dramatic to start with. I can't turn the camera, and I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I'm definitely going to get smashed by a sandworm in a minute. Eek! Oh, here's a light patch over here. Keep running. Oh my god, keep running. No idea where Jessica's gone. Holy smokes. 
I think the fact that I ran sideways initially was probably not a great idea. Okay, we're, we're making a bit of ground now. I can't see. Oh no, I've gone fully into the desert. This isn't good, is it? No. Paul! Paul! Keep running! Holy smokes, like I say, this is... Oh no, oh no. Oh no, here we go. That's it. Is there lightning around them? I don't remember there being lightning. Oh nice! I made it! I actually made it despite completely hashing up the beginning of that. Yeah! Look at that! Awesome! Part of, quite a big part of me did want to see what happened if you got eaten by it, but anyway, there you go. Because I think it's the sandworms that crap out spice. I think. I might be wrong there, but I've got a feeling they're certainly key to producing spice in some way. I can't remember how. And I've got a feeling there's some mad bit where he actually rides a worm at one point. Anyway. Yeah, this weird floating dude. He's disgusting in the film. Look at the pretty picture, nephew. A bull of extraordinary strength has flattened Paul's grandfather. I, the most powerful man in the Empire, have killed his father. One of Arrakis's unforgiving storms has swept the child away. An awesome combination of power has rid us of the Atreides, uncle. Raban, you must recapture Dune. Its surrender has been very costly to us. Our investment must pay dividends. May we be bathed in torrents of spice! <laughs> Don't forget to remind the locals of the Harkonnen mean business. Let them bury themselves in their stinking caves while we make our fortune. The Fremen are more than just a scattered bunch of natives. Our soldiers report that they are fearsome fighters. <laughs> Do I detect fear in your eyes, Raban? The Fremen quake in their boots at the mere mention of my name. <laughs> of course, the beast Raban flood the desert with their blood. Fair enough. Wasn't really paying attention to that. I was, um, I was using WhatsApp. Anyway, so yeah, I, I know he's definitely the the villain of the piece, but um, I don't know what you're talking about there. But anyway, fine. Fair enough. See what we jump into. I presumably we play as Paul for the entire game. Obviously, I'm not going to play the, the entire Fremen game. Fremen know that the most ferocious storms can be traced to the nethermost regions of the desert. Sometimes a harmless, gentle breeze on the sand can turn. Never Paul, good to get storms in the was nether regions. Retribution for his father's death and a way to reconquer Dune. Stilgar had found the Atreides in a siege bastion in the desert abyss. This is where Jessica gave birth to Aaliyah, Paul's sister. Just before Duke Leto's death, Jessica had become the Reverend Mother of the Fremen. He's jumping on a bit, isn't it? By his Fremen name of Paul Moadib. Inside the siege, he was adding the final touches to stage one of his plan. An all-out guerrilla attack on the Harkonnen spice harvests. I didn't think there were guerrillas on Arrakis. <laughs> We will require more than my tribe's worth of warriors to cut off the Harkonnen spice supply. Stilgar, how about summoning the other tribes? My men are ready to go to war because my word is gospel. As for the other siege dwellers, they will need assurances that a brave man is in command. What's our first planned mission? The obliteration of a cariol and a harvester. 200 kilometers in a northwesterly direction from here. I'll go it alone. That's suicidal. When I return, news of this accomplishment will spread around the sieges and the desert's nadir. Then we can count on many more recruits. I refuse to accept these terms. I shall proceed with or without your approval. I wouldn't put it past you. I need equipment. Find Baron. He's in charge of weaponry. He'll supply you with an SOS launcher, a vital object. You'll also need a crease. I believe the Chani is looking into that. Chani? I think you said the Chinese. I was like, why the Chinese? Why are they looking into it? Matters. Come and find me when you have everything. I shall take you to the ambush site. You must make use of your trip to the siege and talk to the Fremen. Knowing that you are near does wonders for their morale. 
That is some of the worst facial animation I've ever seen in a video game. However, this is an early PS2 game, remember? Blue discs. I don't know why they were blue to begin with. And then why they changed it. No, the blue ones did look kind of cool in a, in a weird way. I don't know why. I remember Quake Revolution. I remember first taking, or Quake 3, taking the gate, uh, disc out of the box and being like, oh my god, look at this, it's blue. Anyway, located deep in the desert, it cannot be breached by Harkonnen patrols. The Fremen's guerrilla warfare against Rab Rabid, Rabid, whatever, is planned here. Nice. Nice. So I've got to go and find stuff. What am I doing? I pressed select but nothing happened. Last time it brought my objectives up. Oh, hello. Is this anything useful? Can I steal stuff? Give me guns. I want to go full Matrix. Hello. How was your trip to the siege? We had to time our movements to avoid Harkonnen reconnaissance patrols, <laughs> but it was well worth the effort. Mouth movements on that. to organize the relaying of information between <laughs> our patrol teams and the siege. Is there any news on the resumption of spice harvesting? From what we are told from several sources, Raban has to respect the high quotas governing the harvesting of spice, much more so than during his first term here. He's taking risks. His harvesters are sinking their teeth deep into the desert bed. If it were up to me, I would strike now. Fair enough. I thought he was going to give me a gun, but anyway, never mind. Fine. Not even worth talking to. I don't think we. I don't think we got any weapons at the moment. That's fine. We don't need weapons. We're just going to go pelting out here. Find what we need. We may get to the. Ah, oh, damn it. We may get to the ambush site. I've no idea. I mean, again, this game has got a lot more detail and depth and, and all that than I was expecting. Look at these giant incense burners. I saw that. Popping. Huge popping there. Oh, isn't this... Isn't this mother? Mummy dearest. Oh, did you have one of those wakening dreams? What? Mother, I know we've already talked briefly of these visions. Don't you think it's high time you filled me in? Destiny's siblings create a web and you see the results. Time and space intersect at these points. The interstellar navigators use spice to work their way through space-time and to pilot their long-distance aircraft. You're equally sensitive to the presence of spice. I'm convinced that it's responsible for your dreams. You can no doubt visualize some key moments whose ending is still undecided. Are they fragments of the future? Can I change them? Is that the power of Kwisatz Haderach? Kwisatz Haderach? Excuse me, Paul. I have to mark your sister's memory tests. Fair enough. Not mark your sister's memory tests. Oh, be glad to be... No, well, I was going to say, I'd be glad to finish marking stuff. Being a teacher. Marking. Marking. Good God. Anyway. Hang on. Hang on a minute. This looks like... Hang... Get off the box, you turd. There's nothing in here. Okay, so this was a bit of a red herring, wasn't it? We had a quick chat with Mumsy, and now we're off again. Okay, we'll see if we can find another way out of here. I thought I saw another door. Here we go. This has got to take us outside. Why have I not got any objectives? That's really weird. It also sounds like I'm running in puddles, but oh, this doesn't look good. This place is obviously much bigger than, than you would than you might imagine. Oh, look at this. Hang on. If, hang on, is this a massive circle? No, this is someone different. Can I have a gun? Can I please have a gun? You've never used an SOS jammer before. No. no. No, I've not. The spear missiles that we deploy are not potent enough to destroy a Harkonnen carryall. Its engines are too big. The only way is to hijack a harvester as it collects spice, and then have it picked up by a carryall. Blocking the sand-removing nozzles turns the harvester into a self-timing bomb, with enough force to destruct the carryall. I understand the function of the jammer in disrupting the harvester's transmission mechanism and cutting off all communication links, but why the SOS signal? That's where it gets interesting. When activated, the jammer emits a false distress signal. The cario comes to the rescue of the harvester, reasoning that it's encountered a sandworm. Clever. But that implies that the saboteurs only have a limited amount of time to block the sand-removing nozzles. Every plan has its drawbacks. Here, use it to good effect. Oh, nice. He's given me something. He's given me a satellite jammer thing. Nice. Okay, so I've got one of the things we need. Who are you? You're not important. Are you doing the washing up by the looks of it? So, no, we don't need you. Essentially, you could talk to everyone. This game is obviously, excuse, this game is obviously, I say, got had more work put into than I was expecting. It's very laggy. I don't know if that's because it's being played on a PS3 or if it's just because it is a laggy game. I don't know. Now let's think. I came in that door opposite, didn't I? 
Oh, I thought I saw another door. Okay, maybe not. Alright, so I think we've got everything we need from this little bit. I do not like these inverted controls. Okay, so... Hang on a minute, where did we... We came from that way, so it's up here, isn't it, next? Okay. Assuming we've picked up everything we need. Oh, hang on, this doesn't look good, does it? Hello? I think see everyone talks to you, that's mental. Johnny? I see oh, Johnny! You to make a workshop. The plants are beginning to grow. We'll soon have a true insight into Fremen Heaven. Leap Kynes would be proud of you. To pick up where my father left off with his plantation is one thing. What you're doing quite another. To organize and unite the Fremen is a massive challenge. Your father saved my life when the Harkonnen launched their offensive. I promise to repay him. Water will flow on Dune. Water and clear air. Trees as well. I would have loved to see your world. I can't take you there, so we'll just have to recreate a part of it here. The water reserves are increasing slowly. We shall be long gone before Dune is fertile. Look, as long as the Harkonnen don't know about your people's plan, there's every chance that it will succeed. I have something for you, Moadib. A crease. You already showed your mastery of it against Jamis. The blade is made from a sandworm's tooth. One of Shai Hulud's teeth. Yes. Only you can carry it. It is the Fremen's secret weapon. Should a stranger see the blade, it will claim his blood. If you lose it, it will automatically self-destruct. Thanks, Johnny. That would be an absolute nightmare if, like, everything you lost just self-destruct. Hang on. Look at that. Water reserves. Anyway. Water on Dune. Yeah, if everything you lost just self-destructed, because I'm forever losing things. Like, my keys and my phone and wallet and everything. They'd have all self-destructed by now. Not ideal. Is there another way out of here? Because I seem to be a bit stuck. And I, it won't let me check any objectives. What am I supposed to be doing? Inventory, equipment, preferences. Let's see. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on. Is that a door at the back? Did I not know it isn't a door at the back? I fell for that a minute ago. What's that item on there? That looks like... Oh, it's just an antenna, I think. What do I do? Hang on. Have you ever seen a carriole on fire, Muadib? Oh. Oh, hang on. What? I seem to have weird <laughs> options. Take the Harkonnen and can wait a while. No, I'll take part in a guerrilla attack. Why not? I don't think I've got all the stuff I'm supposed to have got yet. We'll Unless I... tracks at nightfall. The worm will act as our transport until we get to the ambush point. Has Baron explained how the SOS jammer works? It jams the harvester's communication network and sends a false SOS to the carryall. Good. Your mission is split into three parts. First, you must climb onto the harvester and hide the jammer. You must tread carefully, as there will be almost certainly a military presence around the harvest area. Stage two. Once the SOS has been launched, you have to work your way inside the harvester and locate the sand-removing nozzles. These must all be shut down to create the state of overheating. Thirdly... Let me guess. Escape from the harvester before it is taken away by the carryall. Otherwise, I'll be stuck inside when it explodes. Your intelligence will only be of any use should you survive. Use this projectile pistol. Yeah, Stilgar, we got a gun. Don't worry about me. You're as good a judge of character as your father was. Okay, looks like we're actually doing something actually now, which should be interesting. Okay, so we'll have a quick crack at this. Not expecting it to go very well, but we'll see. Harkonnen Harvester Stilga has organised guerrilla attacks on Harkonnen Harvesting Equipment. The objective is to obliterate a carryall, an impressive transporter of harvesters in the desert. Uh, so it explodes, sneak into the fully functional harvester, cripple it so it explodes when the carryall connects it. Nice. Step towards controlling the spice production. Okay. Oh. Why would you start me off facing that way? Anyway. And I have my weird sandworm. I mean, not being funny, that sandworm that chased us around the desert, its teeth were a lot bigger than this thing I'm holding now, but anyway. Oh. Hang on. Are these, are these are enemies, aren't they? Do I need to... 
That was effing close. He was just in the process of turning around. I think he heard me because I was moving a bit too quick. Missed. Oh, God, that was a bit too close. There's another one over there, though. And there's one over there who somehow didn't see me. Holy smokes, the PS3 is going absolutely bonkers at the moment. Oh, hello. Another one done. Another one bites the sand. Um, I don't think. I haven't got a gun, have I? No. Oh, or do I? I do! I do got a gun. These like, don't drop any bloody ammo, which is annoying. No. Oh! Look at him. Sneaky. Look at him stretching. I need to... Oh, I'm slightly worried about the PS3. It's making some really weird noises, anyway. Nice! Another one done. Oh, hello mate. Could do with getting up to him, but I'm pretty sure there's another one that could also see him. Let's head down this way. There's loads! Am I, supposed to, am I the only one doing this, by the way? Holy smokes. Oh, that's not good. No, nope. get up to him. Oh, I'm probably gonna die here. Why is he, why is he so tough? I don't really want to. He's dead. The fact they're not dropping any ammo makes me reluctant to use ammo. I have got a water distiller thing. It didn't ask. There's no mention of difficulty on this, by the way. How am I supposed to get up to them? Oh, hello, mate. I think he heard me, but he didn't actually see me. No, I think he saw me, damn it. Oh, he only takes two shots to kill him, okay. I do wish they dropped some kind of ammo. Did they hear that? Amazed if they didn't. As long as they're not. Hello, mate. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Two shots. There are quite a lot of them, though. <laughs> oh, holy smokes! Am I getting. Oh, run away! Okay, you're gonna hide over here for a second. Can I drink? I can. Oh, God. Why is he so tough? Okay. That didn't go particularly well. And I think there's another one up there. Nice, I'm underneath it, sort of. Ah, oh, God, can't see. Oh, damn it, wasted a shot. I need some more ammo quite badly. I don't know what that is. Oh, that is ammo. Nice, okay. Do I just go in here then, or, or what? No, apparently not. Okay, what do I do? Oh, hang on, place the SOS, what? Jammer on the external communi- Okay, so I need to find the external communications. Thank you, me, Bob. Oh! Ah, no. You can go up ladders and everything. This game's got everything. Oh, yeah, that wasn't good. <coughs> got absolutely battered then. Particularly when I was getting stunlocked by those two of them. That was not, that was not an idea. What is that? Is this the communicate? Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Now let's see you communicate. But I haven't sabotaged it yet, that's the problem. Do I... Do I get back down it or...? I mean, it's coming back, but I haven't actually... I don't know how we do the second bit. How'd you get in here? I'm stuck. Right. Get inside the harvester. Yeah, I'd love to. I would love to. I've no idea how though. This is the problem. Also, why is the why is the clock not ticking down? Oh, hang on. There's two doors. Maybe it's the other one. 
No. No. How do you... How do you get inside? Oh, was I not supposed to come down the ladder? Is it still up here? Let's see, it might be up here. Oh, get up the ladder, you turd. Yeah, it's weird, it's just flashing on Ted. Maybe the timer won't start until I get inside. I've no idea how this how this is working. I did I did look at this door and it was it didn't say anything. I probably missed it though. Okay. Get inside the harvester, great. Oh hang on. Oh that was a oh hello. Oh you can climb up stuff, I forgot about that. Yes, I totally forgot about that. Hang on. Turn. Huh? Yeah, I completely forgot in the tra in training mission there was a... Oh, ouch. Nope. I... Okay. Okay, I don't know what this thing is. Is this energy or... Oh, hang on. Okay, so, can I get, hang on, hang on, I can't get up here. Oh, will you? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I really, really don't like the fact that the control, the camera's inverted. It really doesn't help. Oh. Turn the... Nice, so we've got inside. Nice, we're inside the Harkonnen Harvester. So we need to somehow sabotage it and then get out. And I think we've only got 10 minutes to do it. So if there's one thing I really hate in games, it's time limits. But anyway. And we're not doing particularly well. I'm still not totally sure what the blue bar actually means. I mean, I'm assuming the game will flat... Oh, hello. Oh, he's, oh, he was facing the other way. Oh, now the, now the clock's ticking. How many have I got? 15. He's going to come back in a minute. Oh, I haven't got long. That's not good, is it? Is he going to react to the corpse? Yes, of course he is. Oh! Oh no, who am I getting shot by? Hey, get off the wall, you turd! Okay, he's dead. This gun's terrible! Oh, I see, the energy is the, is the amount of heals you could have. I can hear more. Ah! What's that noise? What the hell is that racket? Okay, I can't open that. Okay, so we've got health up a little bit. There we go. So we've got 20 bullets. Okay, so the blue bar is nothing to do with ammo. Good to know. Okay, he took three shots. Eight minutes, we've got to get out of here. I mean, this looks very sabotageable, I have to say. Do I not Do I not just wang it down here? I mean, look at this, this is a control panel, surely. Damn it, okay. I don't know where this... Okay, let's try and go a bit further. Wrong button. Yeah, have it. Running a little bit low on ammo. I don't know what that does, it's a blue thing. I can't get in there. I probably need to get in there. I've only got seven minutes. Eek! Oh god! Ok, 
Okay, well, I mean, this, this is definitely a main control panel. Ah, oh, there we go, a giant red thing. It's got to be, that's got to be what we're looking for. Where was that though? I thought it was this door. It's not. Ah, oh, that'll be it though. I'd, so I've opened one of them things. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to need some more health before long. I've only got seven bullets as well. Oh. No, no, don't you do it. I got the ammo for this. Shoot him, God's sake. Okay, if I die, obviously I'm not going to redo any of this. I'm stuck. I have no idea what these levers are doing. I'm assuming that I've just got to shut them somehow, or for some reason. If I close all of these, will it cause some huge pressure build-up? What's happening? Oh, nice. Okay, that's probably good. I have, I don't know what I'm going to do about the ammo. No, I was hoping there might be some cheats for this. Got the wrong bloody way again. If I meet any other enemies, I'm in, I'm in right stuck. I've got enough to kill, like, one more person. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's one of them. I need to find the code. Hang on. I didn't look at what the code was. Oh, I didn't mean to press that button. Where is it? It's normally on the wall somewhere. Oh, hang on. Is it above me? No, that's just H for hard code. And, uh, hang on. Oh, no. Where is the code? There's normally a code, like, written nearby. Hang on. It's not this thing, is it? No, I'm obsessed with that being something relevant. Hang on. Okay, we've got five minutes. Why is that bloody thing? It's never normally that far away. I say never, I've only seen one before. But anyway. Okay, we got the code. Don't ask me how we got the code, but we got the code. I had to look that one up online because I was just like, where is this thing going? I am, I think. Oh no, I've got a horrible feeling the timer was still going. Nice! Is that it? Oh, okay. I thought I... Have I actually... Oh, is it just sabotaging it by closing those valves? Nice! Are we going to see it explode? I wasn't expecting that. I thought we still had to actually put a bomb down or something. I wasn't entirely sure what was going on then, but anyway. Nice! Apparently there was a code for that door somewhere in that harvester that I, I couldn't find, but I had a quick look around, but it doesn't matter. Don't need it. I ended up having to look on a German walkthrough. The spice and equipment losses are high. Are you sure your units are providing proper protection? But the desert is teeming with Fremen! <laughs> Appoint a new officer for the harvests, and tell him what has happened in this saga. I should have aimed for the Who's last. this walking like they've crapped themselves? Our leadership styles are not so different. Ever since you left Staban to ex-charge, your smugglers have been under guerrilla attack from the Fremen. <laughs> In contrast to my former boss, I don't envisage... He looks like one of those LARD officers from Duke Duke. Less of a crackdown on your smugglers by my troops. In return, your total cooperation in the battle against the Fremen. Fair enough. There we go. I'm obviously not going to do any more. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. It was just to see what this game was like. It's not bad, actually. It's it's better than I was expecting. I did think it was just like a kind of a narrative type of game, like the Wing Commander games, but it is actually a proper, a proper action game. So yeah, more points awarded than I expected. Just we'll just sit through this little bit. What's up? The rate the Harkonnen harvesters are accumulating spice doesn't tally with the amount filling up their depositories. They don't put all the spice into official depots. My father mentioned secret stashes. Why conceal the spice? To pull the wool over the Emperor's eyes, thus enabling Baron Harkonnen to add to his wealth with stolen spice. 
If we are to beat Raban, these secret depots must be found. Where is Raban hiding them? Mwadib! Fair enough. There's worrying news about the arrival of a planetologist. The Imperium is sending him to take over from Liet Keynes to resume research in the experimental station. I want Chinese right away. He's standing half in his own counter. He's got his belly resting on the counter. Okay, this yeah, I say we're not gonna we're not gonna crack on anymore. We'll leave it there for the moment. But yeah, it's not a bad game. If you're a big fan of Dune and you kind of know who all the people are and all the factions and the, the political machinations that are going on, then it's probably something that you would probably really enjoy. I mean, so I, I quite like Dune, but it's it's not you know it's not my favourite franchise. So there we go. So we'll leave it there for the minute. So. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, let me know if it's worth playing anymore, but I almost certainly won't. I'll probably leave that there. It'd be one of my, one of my many one-offs. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this part. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.